So for hygiene, we have status. What position are you holding? What respect does this job give to you? Do you get the point there? What, what, what level is this job placing you? What level are you in the society with this kind of job, with this kind of company? Oh, okay. That's status. Yes. The second one is security. Yes. Are you able to keep your job? Is this job, does this job or does this business has a future? Yes. That's security. What conditions? Are you, is, is the environment conducive for you or not? Yeah. These are things that come from the company. Yeah, not from the, not from the individual. That's why we call it hygiene. If they are not there, workers are not going to be motivated. According to Ellsberg, yeah. company policies and administration. So there are policies, there are procedures. Yeah. The laws of the company, how are they being carried out? That can also motivate or demotivate workers. Yes. Let me quickly set an example. Like, uh, I don't want to say, let me just forget about the example. I will say it after this class. Okay. So, but when we talk about company policies, are, we have to understand how we carry out our policies. Because if, you are, if your policies, yeah, there are policies. But how do you carry them out? The procedures about policies, that's administration. Mm -hmm. How do you carry them out? It's important. Because if they're not carried out the right way, workers might be demotivated. Yes. You get it. Relationship with supervisor. What kind of relationship do you have with your supervisor? Are your supervisors those that are motivators? They are, are they always encouraging you? Are they supporting you or not? If they are not, then you wouldn't have anything. You wouldn't have any reason to be effective. Yes. That's not the same like the work condition. No. Working conditions are conducive environment. The place, how it is like when you are working. Oh, okay. Supervisor is the relationship you have with your direct boss. Your direct boss. How is your relationship? Yeah. Now, relationship with your subo with subordinates. How do you treat those that are working with you? How do you also treat them? It's also important. Yes. The salary, the amount you get paid. Mm -hmm. So these are things that would motivate employees according to Esberg. So we call these ones hygiene or maintenance factors. They are maintenance factors because if they are not available, if they are abs if they are not available, workers might not be motivated. For the motivators, this comes from the workers themselves. Clear? Yes. So that's about Esberg.